this is John Martinka. I have the privilege of being on the board of directors of a couple companies, and one of them, we are going through the process of putting in an ESAP, Employee Stock Ownership Plan. The founders of the company want to get some liquidity. They want to get compensated for the work they've done building a great company, but they don't want to sell to a larger firm and destroy the culture and their legacy, so they're selling to the employees. With an ESOP, we have the Department of Labor looking over our shoulders. It's very important things are done to the T all the time. And I've been part of the process of interviewing the trustee, very important role. My question for everyone we interviewed was, what are the most common traps and how do we avoid them? And immediately they all responded, it's the valuation. And there are three things when it comes to the valuation. Number one, projections. Now, I've got a video called Projections Are Meaningless, and I firmly believe that when it comes to small businesses in the buy-sell world. But in an ESOP, you have to have projections. You have to look at your historical projections and whether you met them, beat them, or fell behind because they're not going to just say, you, well, you've grown at 3%, where now you're projecting 10 so the employees have to pay based on that. No, very regulated. Number two, using the wrong comparable information, i.e. using public company, comparable sales, price earning ratios, things like that, when it's a middle market or mid-sized business. And number three, the, using the right and proper valuation methodologies and using them correctly, because it's real easy to skew any methodology, just like I mentioned about using public company data as a comparable. So three things that I learned that I think are very apropos to my small business buy-sell market. Thanks for watching.